Hello there ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another little kind of video here. This is more of a vlog conversational thing that I actually wanted to talk about the 2k humble bundle. Now I've posted up three videos tonight. One of the evolved, uh, yeah one of the evolved tutorial, one of the evolved multiplayer and one of the intro to XCOM 2 and they all come from the 2k humble bundle and I just want to speak to the people directly, you guys who might actually be thinking of buying the 2k humble bundle. I'm not, I don't think it's a very good bundle. I, I, I'm not extolling its virtues by posting up videos of the games that are involved in it and talking about it over and over again. But what I am extolling the virtues is giving to charity. Now, Covenant House are a charity organization who provide housing for homeless youth. Um, with the name Covenant House, I don't know. I need to actually look further into them, but they do have, seem to have, with the name it does refer to almost like a religious organizational kind of house, and which is tends to be a lot of cases with not for profits. They actually have a religious backing, and especially with Covenant House being a U.S. based, as far as I remember, and Texas specifically, U.S. based uh, organization. I'm not immediately 100% comfortable with uh, homelessness, like taking children in from homelessness and then teaching them religion to say thank you. Like, like this is your way of saying thank you. Just you believe in our religion. I'm like. Mm, 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 mm. As an agnostic, I don't think that's a great idea. I think you should actually let them give for the point of fucking giving, not for the point of uh, education for, uh, within your religion. That's that, that's that's something I'm just not comfortable with in general. Um, but if it gets people actually into a safer situation that they're not going to be in danger, I, I, I hope they actually watch themselves, but they actually still do help as more people than they may possibly hurt in some way, shape, or form. Uh, the thing is, with the Humble Bundle, the reason why I'm rambling on about this is that the Humble Bundle itself allows you to break down what way you're giving your money. There will be three sliders underneath your contribution to buying the 2K Bundle. One will be for 2K themselves, one of them will be for the Covenant House, and one of them will be a humble tip to the company Humble Bundle themselves. Now, what I did, because I'm not very impressed by the bundle itself, I reduced down 2K's value and I reduced, I, I increased Humble's tip and the Covenant House up a wee bit more, essentially splitting the difference of what was taken from 2K. The reason why I'm doing that to 2K is just that it feels like it's a garage sale, it's a fire sale just to try and up interest in games that they can then forward sell DLC afterwards. And the XCOM version that is released with the 20 pound, uh, the 20 pound or 20 euro, 20 dollar tier of the game is the base model of the game which has had a butt ton of dlc content that they can then resell to you afterwards and you won't be able to buy it as a bundle and deal like the, you could have done with the digital deluxe which then in the end up would have saved you probably about 15 to 20 pound in dlc alone because the 35 dollar the 35 pound version of that is actually all inclusive which is currently available in the PlayStation Store and in the sale uh, for the next week or so, as far as I know. So it might be worthwhile if you're really interested. If you're buying it only for XCOM 2, then maybe think about buying it in the sale item on PS instead. And generally go and give something charitable later on. Because the only reason why I went on with it is because I'm a big supporter of Humble Bundle. I want to encourage them to actually have PlayStation bundles over and over again. Every single time they've done one, I bought it. I bought, in fact, the THQ Nordic bundle, I bought twice um unintentionally so i'm still have to give that second code away to somebody uh the rest of the games involved of course being evolve and battleborn for the ps4 battleborn is via it's virtual currency for a game that i'm never going to play again but i still loaded into my account and realized that there was five or six characters that i, I didn't have and i was kind of going like right well i could buy a couple of them now because of this but I'm not massively entranced in going back to Battleborn. It's just it's just for having such a smaller player base. A dedicated player base, by the way. The guys who still play it are amazingly good at the game. And I just would feel completely out of the depth for it. But I enjoyed the story campaign mode in it. I enjoyed the gameplay in it. I think it's actually a fun game. It's just one of those things where it's if there's Battleborn, Paladins, and Overwatch sitting in front of me. I know my friends are going to be playing Overwatch. I know I can easily load up Paladins. I'm never ever going to choose Battleborn out of those three really in the end up. And then of course there's Evolve sitting right up there, which is currently $3.99 in the PlayStation Store during the sale. And that's the same base model you're getting from this. And you're getting that from the $1 tier. And I, if you watch from the videos, I was bored to tears will evolve in the first 40 minutes of gameplay, which involved, by the way, 40 minutes of gameplay involved me playing the tutorial and one multiplayer match for 40 minutes of gameplay. And that's, that's too slow, man. I, I mean, I, I, uh, a 10-minute search for players and a 10-minute game. 
Not 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 intriguing, not and not enticing in any way, shape, or form, especially with its low player base. The rest of the games, uh, Spec Ops the Line, uh, Enemy Unknown Plus on PS Vita, Civilization Revolution, um, XCOM Disclassified, uh, not a great fun game. Uh, XCOM Enemy Within, the Ultimate Edition of Enemy Unknown Enemy Within together. A lot of good PS3 games in there that are actually going to be worth a playthrough. And um, Bioshock's in there for all things. Um, PS3 games worth a play, but they are old games. They're very old games, and they're games you can pick up in a bargain bin anywhere for a cheap price. It, they just, it's just the bundle and deal. It's the kibble and bits. These are the featured items in that bundle, and it's they're not great. So uh, yeah, I, I just I just felt like I wanted to have a ramble, talk about the charitable donations that you can do by going with the 2K Gun bundle. But a lot of this bundle has me personally uncomfortable with the um the content involved being not the best and being a, a possible upsell the charity themselves being uh, an organization that i don't know much about so i i i'm trying not to prejudge but uh if you can't get a four star written on a charitable organization's website that actually like analyzes charities for transparency and your values uh, or that you pay that the head of your charity over 200 grand to do their job i'm not too sure i'm actually really comfortable with that um I, I, maybe it's just i think that i think charitable organizations you should actually live on a living wage not quarter of a fucking million dollars for the head of your charity um that doesn't look like that doesn't feel that doesn't feel like a smart thing for me especially in a charity that only has maybe what 20 million dollars in contributions every single year so you're taking uh, you're taking a, a percentage if you're taking a literal percentage of the charity's total for your work as the head of the charity, then, guy, you're not doing it for charity. You're doing it for profit. Um, so, yeah, that's uh, that's, my, that's my little bugbear and annoyance with the whole thing. So, push the money towards the charity because you'll help some people. Push the money towards Humble Tip because they do a great job organizing these bundles on a regular basis and I want to encourage it. And 2K can eat my ass for trying to upsell me on games. Fuck you. Thank you very much and good night. <laughs> and I honestly, like that is actually the end of my, that, that's the end of this vlog. That's the end of this little video where I just wanted to ramble for a few minutes. I apologize for lack of background audio. This was just one of those things where the moth is going to goddamn annoy the shit out of me. Um, I just wanted to actually get it off my chest so that uh, anybody asked me questions, I could literally just go like, here's a video explaining why I'm pushing this bundle. If you have question X about charity or B about the shitty bundle, that's the reason why I'm doing it. So, uh, yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed, listen to me. Uh, you want to see more vloggy stuff like this, more chatty, conversational things to you that you might want to have a discussion about, then make sure to hit the subscribe button up there in the corner. And, of course, uh, watch all the rest of the things that are available on the channel. And, uh, as I always say, if you don't do the subscribe thing, memorize pastiche of skin, search for me online. I'm easy to find. I'm not trying to hide. Boop, 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 boop. So, guys, always a YouTube thing. Boop, button up there. Subscribe there. Playlist there. Re uh, most recent video. And on this side, a video just for you. So, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I will see all of you in the next vlog. Bye.